you're thinking about committing suicide, you need to listen to me right now. Relax. Breathe. So, <clears throat> I went for a walk at 6 a.m. this morning. While it was still dark out this morning, while also high, <laughs> to go be in the forest, in nature, while listening to some peaceful music, like meditation music, and being in peace. Now, surprisingly, even as cold, empty, and done with life as I am, it was, it was really nice, even for me. It was very therapeutic. <laughs> No matter how traumatized and depressed you are. Plus, as we both know, we metalheads, emos, goths, juggalos prefer the dark, the night, so that played a huge part in this. So forget about the tradition of being up at daylight. I didn't need a therapist, money, sex, a girlfriend, validation, attention, money, riches, clout, status, or anything. Just peace and serenity. Bonus points if you have your animals, dogs, cats with you, because they love you unconditionally. No worries, or guilt, or pressure about bills, what he thinks, what she thinks, who's proud of you, who's disappointed in you, none of that. As a bonus, Society's asleep and out of the fucking way. <laughs> Plus, in the end, it's about the kind of person you were and how people remember you, the memories you leave behind, not the money you made, not how far you climbed that soulless corporate ladder in which there's no human element. It's just strictly business. Life is, society is just a giant game of monopoly. You don't owe anybody anything. You don't have to play the stupid game if you don't want to. Live and let live. That's it. That's the rule. The purpose of life is to find inner peace within nature. Society doesn't want you to know that. They want to keep breadcrumbing you. To keep you under their control. To keep you giving them what they want. They all have an agenda to push. I don't. I promise you. And if I do, it'll come to light anyways. Nobody gets away with anything. <laughs> It's about the memories you leave behind and the people you loved and have touched, if any. You don't owe anybody anything, but it is a bonus. <laughs> no matter the mistakes you've made, we don't remember Chester Bennington, for example. I know I suck at pronouncing his name, Bennington, whatever, no. Chester Bennington, we don't remember him for the money he made or the mistakes that he's made or how he did in school or how successful he was or how well he kept jobs or did in the corporate world. No, we remember his music, the lives he's touched, the memories he left behind, and the amazing person he was. <laughs> For him, this was on a much larger scale, but this applies to you as well. Now refer to the song, Leave Out All the Rest by Linkin Park. <laughs> I'm gonna get serious for a second, this is important. Before you commit suicide, if that's how you're feeling, I want you to do me a favor, I'm begging you. As a last resort in life, instead of killing yourself, when you have absolutely nothing left to live for, including any type of social life, you're the loneliest person, and you're financially fucked. You're mentally, emotionally drained beyond repair from all the heartbreak, the piece of shit fake friends, all the failures, even if you're homeless and on the streets with nothing. I want you to start doing this for me. Start sleeping during the day. The day is now your new bedtime. As soon as the sun goes down, or whenever you're ready, get your ass up and spend the night outside in nature. Preferably in the forest. If there's a creek with a bench, go there. Please. And I want you to sit there, or, or walk through nature, listening to music, Put on some meditation music on YouTube and just sit there with your eyes closed in peace and chill. 
you don't you don't need technology. So even if you don't have a phone to put on put music on, it's, it doesn't matter. Nature heals. That's what this world. That's that's the real world. It's a garden. The, this planet is a garden. Society is not life. There's a difference between society and humanity. Two different things. Society is not life. Society is prison. <sighs> now, even if you're at rock bottom, this may not make you happy because you're just way too fucked up and far gone. But what it will do is make you numb to the point where you're completely at peace with yourself and with nature. You don't need drugs either. You want to smoke some weed? You want to get high? That's even, it's helpful. Just don't let it ruin your life. And living in the present moment, not looking towards the past or the future. I promise you will no longer even want other human beings around to bother you. You still welcome them, love them, and tolerate them. But you're no longer overly attached. Only one human being is needed. The only friends you really need are pets that love you for you. This is how you'll feel. Because animals, they love you unconditionally. They're gentle souls. They actually are genuine and have your best interests at heart. They just love your company. They don't have an agenda to push. All you gotta do is feed them, love them, and take care of them, and they love you unconditionally. As long as you're not hurting them. And whenever you're hungry, you don't need much money, if any. Just the essentials. Places are open 24-7. Go get some food and something to drink every so often. Go for a walk somewhere. The entire world is yours. Let's go back to the garden. When Adam was created, what was his purpose? It was to find inner peace within nature. That That is the purpose of life, and it never changes. No matter how big the population grows, all of this man-made stuff, all of this, all these rules and laws and regulations that people make up, that's exactly what it is. It's just made up bullshit. No, that's not life. The real purpose of life is to live and let live. Find inner peace within nature. You do not owe anybody anything. Even if you get fired from a job, do you have a clean conscience though? Did you do the right thing? Did you quit your six-figure job instead of firing somebody that you knew you shouldn't have fired? You did the right thing then. Fuck money. Society, the dark secret is that you have to step on people's necks in order to get to the top. This is the devil's playground. I don't want any part of it. Or, maybe you don't care about eating or drinking anymore because fuck life and your health, right? You don't care or want it anymore. But here's the thing. Adam was lonely. So who else came along? Eve. There you go. All you need is two people to complete each other. But you don't need a significant other. It's just nice to have. Adam, Adam's, the entire world was his garden. It was his. The purpose of life was to rule over the lesser creatures. Now, just because they were lesser than Adam doesn't mean they weren't as loved as Adam. It doesn't mean they weren't as precious as Adam. It just means that they don't live as long as Adam. So he rules over them. Now, he got lonely. He had nobody to share it with. So Eve came along. An intelligent human being that he can share this life with. That's all you need right there. Live and let live. <sighs> Fine, you don't want it anymore. But please, still do not commit suicide. Allow yourself to rest and enjoy true life, meaning nature. Now, I'm not a tree hugger, but I promise I probably sound like a total hippie right now. But it works. And if you are going to die, please let it be because it was nature's time for you. Not because you took your own life or purposely got yourself killed. By the way, as soon as the sun comes up, that's your new bedtime. So 
society's awake. Get away from their crap and go to bed. See you tonight. Good day. Bonus points could do this in nature while high to enhance it. Now don't start smoking and vaping if you're not comfortable. You know, peer pressure's not tolerated around here. Not in the Dyna Squad. <laughs> now, if you are, though, here's something that really works. I want you to get high off your fucking ass and sit down at the TV or the computer and just put on the absolute funniest shit you can find and just keep yourself laughing your fucking ass off. This is why it's it's not good to be a complainer because it doesn't make people feel comfortable. It doesn't make them feel at peace. I'm still learning this myself. <laughs> Don't hate people. Just forgive them and move on. Just stay Focus on positivity. Focus on the people that love you. Don't bring negativity. Just forget about it. Because, believe it or not, it does drain your mental health. Even if you are standing up to somebody, you're getting justice. Talking about them drains your mental health. You know, it's kind of like Voldemort, Bruno. You know why they don't talk, they, why they don't say the name? Because it brings back memories. It destroys your mental health. Forget about them. Move on. Now, serotonin, remember that word, is a chemical that your brain needs in order to stabilize your mood. Your ability to mentally function and your mental health, if those serotonin levels are too low, it will absolutely destroy your mental health to the point where there's nothing you can do about it. That's called clinical depression. In no amount of being positive or thinking happy thoughts or medicine, well, you can get medicine to boost your serotonin, but, you know, none of this being positive or thinking happy thoughts or lying to yourself is going to help. Ye ye at that point, you have to see a doctor to get on medication. Now, I really don't believe, I don't care about trying to get help from society because they always have an agenda to push. Even when they throw drugs at you and put you on medicine, it's just to make money. They don't actually want to help you. They want to cure you. They want to keep making money off you. But you can try that, and if it doesn't work, Go out in nature. Society is evil, and it's draining your mental health. You need a break. But laughter... <laughs> ...is the best medicine, because it makes your brain release serotonin like crazy. And then, if you do it while high, that tends to boost the effect even more. So please, hang in there.